Hey everybody, thanks for checking out this video, part two of our synthesis series. If you haven't watched part one, please go back and do that. Uh, in this video, it's gonna be a quick one, but I'm gonna show you a real quick way how to hook up your QWERTY keyboard uh, to assign a, uh, a key on your keyboard to trigger your sine wave player so that you can make some music and mess around with some pretty cool stuff. Uh, if you recall, in our last tutorial, we added a sine wave player with an envelope that kind of sculpted the sound a little bit. We had a MIDI note uh, to frequency uh, uh, conversion that allowed us to add a MIDI quantizer. And this quantizer uh, made sure that any of the pitches we were sending in was quantized to the scale. In this case, it's a whole tone scale. Again, all this is in our last video. One thing I did do a little differently is I added this random float generator here. So every time we trigger the input, kind of like pressing a key on a keyboard, it's gonna trigger a random note between C, which is 60, all the way to C two octaves higher, 84. And it just sounds like this. Let me play the meta sound for you real quick. Uh, trigger the attack every time we do it pretty cool and then we release and it's done okay now let's jump in and let me show you how to hook this up so we're gonna go over to our main level I've called it synthesizer QWERTY because we're gonna be doing this a lot in the next couple videos uh, we're gonna look in our uh, blueprint you can just go to your uh, open blueprint level and it'll open that window or event graph First thing we're going to do is we are going to drag this my synth player into the blueprint and that's going to add an audio component module. We're going to bring this over here on the event begin play so that when our level opens it will play this meta sound. So now it is playing it but we don't hear anything because we don't have any trigger set. So that's what we're going to do right now. So what we're gonna do is we are going to add a keystroke. We're gonna use the letter H and we're just gonna type keyboard and then we're gonna search for H. Now we have a press and a release feature. And what we need to do is we need to uh, send a trigger parameter to this meta sound and oops, <laughs> opened up C++ here. Let me get rid of that. Okay, so we're gonna drag this off and we're gonna type trigger parameter. When I cannot spell. One of these days I'll be able to spell execute trigger parameter. This is the node we want. Uh, we want to disconnect that by holding alt and clicking. We actually want two of these. So we're going to cut and paste this trigger parameter. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this meta sound as the target to that and as the target to that. This one we're going to call trigger attack. And I got caps lock on common mistake trigger attack and we're gonna go just double check our spelling here there's trigger attack perfect and then trigger release these are the two triggers we want to send uh, and then this one is gonna be trigger release when we when we want to trigger those is when we press the H so when we press the H we're gonna trigger the notes and then when we release the H, it's going to trigger the release on the envelope and it's gonna kill the sound. And that's pretty much it. Now remember, every time we press this H, it's gonna trigger this. So it'll be the same as me just pressing this each time. So in theory, if this all works properly, we're gonna hear some cool random notes. So let's go over to our keyboard here, or let's go over to our level and let's hit play. Let's click on the viewport. We're active now, and I am just going to click on the letter H and see what happens. Fingers crossed, here we go. Perfect. Each time I press it, it's gonna generate a random number between 60 and 84. And remember, it's gonna quantize that to a whole tone scale. Pretty cool stuff. For fun, let's just go change that scale real quick. Let's go to a, um, ooh, let's go Lydian. Lydian's a cool scale. Uh, no, you know what? Let's go harmonic minor. Let's go harmonic minor. Let's compile that. 
Now let's do it. We'll get some new pitches. And let's do a major scale. And that's it. This is not necessarily the most musical thing in the world, but this is step one to building our fully 12 note chromatic QWERTY keyboard, which is a lot more complicated and involves a lot more blueprint logic. We're gonna do that in our next video. So make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.